This video is sponsored by Cracking the Cosmic Code, Unifying Gravity and Electromagnetism, now available on Amazon. Have scientists got it wrong about not being able to use quantum entanglement for faster than light communication? The answer may surprise you. The key aspect of entanglement is that, before measurement, the entangled particles exist in a combined or entangled state. However, when you measure the state of one particle, it collapses into a definite state. And interestingly, the other entangled particle's state also collapses, even if it's far away. This correlation is maintained regardless of the separation distance, which defies our classical intuition. To understand this, we consider an analogy called the hidden variables model. Imagine two entangled dice, each showing a number between 1 and 6. The catch is that when you roll one die and see its number, the other die's number is immediately determined, no matter how far apart they are. However, quantum mechanics doesn't work with hidden variables like dice faces, instead, it deals with superpositions and quantum states. In a more technical sense, when particles are entangled, their quantum states are described by a joint or entangled state, which cannot be expressed as a simple combination of the individual states of the particles. This joint state is what allows for the instantaneous correlation between measurements on the entangled particles. Entanglement has been experimentally proven in various systems, including photons, electrons, and even larger particles like atoms. It plays an important role in quantum information and quantum computing, when the entanglement of qubits allows for the creation of quantum gates and the processing of quantum information in ways that classical bits cannot emulate. Once the entanglement process is completed, the electrons are entangled, meaning their states are correlated. However, the entangled state is not yet revealed until a measurement is made. If we perform a measurement, at this point, on one of the entangled electrons, its state collapses into a definite value. Because of the entanglement, the state of the other electron is determined into a defined value, even if separated by billions of miles. There are inherent problems maintaining the entanglement properties of such particles, Thus it's crucial to maintain the entangled state for as long as possible, especially if the entangled electrons are physically separated. Environmental factors, such as external magnetic fields or temperature fluctuations, can disrupt entanglement, so experimental setups often include measures to minimize these disturbances. The actual techniques and technologies used in experiments may vary, and the field of quantum entanglement is a rapidly evolving area of research, with universities and corporations across the globe, all exploring new methods to create and manipulate entangled states for both fundamental research and practical applications in quantum information processing. We can now consider the arguments against quantum entanglement being used for faster-than-light communications. The no-cloning theorem. A basic principle within quantum physics is the no-cloning theorem, which denoted that it is not possible to create an exact copy of an arbitrary and known quantum state due to the linearity of quantum mechanics. Therefore, if it were possible to clone, that would violate the basic principle of superposition. With today's understanding of entanglement, this means you can't simply create an identical copy of an entangled state to send to a distant location. Quantum measurement and collapse. When we make a measurement on an entangled particle, the quantum state of both particles collapses to a definite value. This collapse is instantaneous and according to quantum mechanics, it occurs without any information or influence traveling between the entangled particles. However, because the measurement result is random, it cannot be predetermined or controlled to transmit meaningful information. Quantum entanglement is not communication. Quantum entanglement itself is not a form of communication. Entangled particles do not carry information in the conventional sense. Their correlated states become apparent only when measurements are made. The act of measuring one particle doesn't transmit information to the other particle faster than the speed of light. The correlation is established at the time of entanglement, and the measurement on one particle merely reveals the correlated state. Entanglement does not violate relativity. While entanglement might seem spooky because of its non-local correlations, it does not violate the principles of relativity. No information is transmitted faster than the speed of light through entanglement. The correlations between entangled particles do not enable any causal influence to travel between them. Any attempt to use entanglement for communication would still be subject to the speed of light limit imposed by special relativity. Bell's Theorem and Local Realism Bell's theorem shows that no local hidden variable theory, a theory in which particles have pre-existing properties, can reproduce all the predictions of quantum mechanics. Experiments testing Bell inequalities have consistently supported the predictions of quantum mechanics. 
ruling out local hidden variables, this implies that the non-local correlations seen in entanglement are not due to hidden variables, but are intrinsic to the nature of quantum systems. But there is yet another aspect of quantum entanglement which is put forward as the most fundamental reason preventing this quantum phenomenon being used as a form of faster-than-light communication and that is the randomness of the collapse of the superposition into a known state. If we consider these points as true, then indeed there is an impossibility of using quantum entanglement for faster-than-light communication, as the deeply rooted principles of quantum mechanics, including the no-cloning theorem, the instantaneous nature of quantum measurement, and the consistency of quantum theory with the principles of relativity would prevent it. Thus, it is widely accepted that it does not provide a loophole for breaking the speed of light barrier and in information transfer. So are scientists right, when they say that using quantum entanglement for faster-than-light communications is impossible? Well, maybe, just maybe, they've got it wrong. We first have to consider what is information, as we have seen it is often put forward that quantum entanglement can't carry information and also that information can't travel faster than light. It is certainly true that if we also consider the randomness of the collapse of the function of the quantum entanglement, then sending binary code is not possible under these constraints. If we consider the fact that if we have two entangled electron particles, one located on the Earth with Bob and one located on Mars with Alice. When Bob measures his particle, its wave function collapses into a definite state and for instance fixes in an up rotation. At that exact moment Alice's electron's wave function collapses into a defined down spin. It is at present always said that no information has traveled between the two. This is true, unless you think outside the box. At the point when Alice saw her particle fix into a downspin, this gives her the information that Bob has measured his particle. As long as Bob and Alice both have prior knowledge that the collapse of their particle wave function means that the other must have measured their particle, that is in itself information which has been sent instantaneously, it can be considered to be observational information. Now we can state that the randomness of the system is no longer a barrier. We now have a way to send a given amount of observational information instantly from Earth to Mars, but it is limited to knowing only one fact. So we have a way to send a single amount of information. It is a simple process to expand the messaging system to a full binary code system. Let's look at the process of sending binary code from Bob to Alice from their respective locations. Bob has a quantity of entangled particles and Alice has the entangled partner particles of Bob's quantity. Bob and Alice know the rules of their communication system. These rules are that each time Alice sees one of her particles fix in either up or down spin, she is to denote this as a marker. She then waits for the next marker to happen which will happen either 1 or 2 nanoseconds later. 1 nanosecond denotes a 1 and 2 nanoseconds denotes a 0. Hence all Bob needs to do is measure his particles at given intervals, thus allowing for full binary code transmission. We can now consider the previous objections as to why you can't use quantum entanglement for instantaneous communications. No cloning theorem. There is no cloning taking place. Therefore no violation takes place. Quantum measurement and collapse. As we have seen his is a function used within the method therefore no violation takes place. Quantum entanglement is not communication. This is not strictly true, since observational data is information which can be interpreted as communication. As long as both Bob and Alice have prior knowledge of the relevance of the observation. Does this method violate relativity? No. No information was carried between the two particles. The only information within the system is the prior knowledge of expectation of observational data. Since the marker is still a random event, the only information which can be gained from that event is knowledge already known and is an interpretation of the marker. Bell's theorem and local realism. This method doesn't violate Bell's theorem. Since the integrity of the quantum entanglement system is not violated, the system still obeys Bell theorem. It is merely the predetermined information known to Alice which can be interpreted only after the particles have fixed into the random event. There are a number of other factors which would need to be resolved for such an instant communication system to be viable. All these factors are solvable once you have an in-depth knowledge of the time compression theory. All these additional factors are commercially sensitive, so I will only give an outline of those which are solvable within the theory. 
Decoherence. Decoherence refers to the process by which a quantum system loses its coherence and becomes entangled with its external environment. This can disrupt the delicate correlations between entangled particles, potentially leading to the loss of the entangled state. This factor is inherently solvable within the time compression theory. At present this factor is seen to be a problem simply because the actual nature of quantum entanglement is not understood within quantum mechanics. Housing particles for transportation. Although housing particles such as electrons within a device is a well-defined process, in a communication system you would need to house both sets of entangled particles within two quantum chips that could be transported to locations where they would be used within communication systems. These chips are already achievable with today's technology. The storage system would also house the coherent stabilization method. Measurement collapsing the wave. Once inherent problem, as defined within today's understanding of quantum mechanics, is that if you measure, for instance, an electron then you collapse its state to be defined. In the case of the Bob and Alice scenario, Alice must monitor the state of her particles so she can establish when a marker has occurred. But to monitor her particles she must measure them, which in the traditional thinking of quantum entanglement is a problem you can't get over. However, with an in-depth understanding of the time compression theory and the knowledge of the nature of that entanglement, there is a clear route to how Alice can know the state of all her particles without her having to measure them directly. This is a simple method for using quantum entanglement for the purposes of faster than light communications. As stated, with an in-depth knowledge of the time compression theory, all aspects of a working system are possible with today's technology, as has been proved in an already achieved proof-of-concept test. As we humans venture out to colonize the solar system, it is imperative that such communication systems and other advanced technologies are developed.